Hey everyone, Jason here. Today I am super excited to show you Crystal's latest Lego model. Now at first glance this might simply look like a static sculpture of a human head, but what really makes this model special is what is on the inside. If you take a closer look at the top of the head, you'll notice that it is hinged on either side and there is a split down the middle. And as we open it up, we are treated to this wonderfully colorful world of pure imagination rising up from the inside. Before I show you the mechanics of how it all works, let's take a quick look at some of the cool details that Crystal has built into the scene. In the front we have a city that's being attacked by these cool creatures, and as you can see they've already done some destruction to it. As we move around the side, the city continues. We have a cool little flying saucer here. We come across a bunny rabbit and a dinosaur eating lunch together in a cafe. As we come around the back, we see this world of enormous plants and mushrooms. And here's a little micro scale human for scale. And a black rocket ship launching into the sky. Here's a seascape with a sailboat on a water spout. And as we come across back to the front, we see a little propeller plane coming in to attack the creatures to help defend the city. And of course, this is all punctuated by this beautiful yellow castle in the center, which is actually quite large. And as I close and open the model again, You'll notice that it moves up and down twice as fast as the rest of the scene in order for it to retract all the way into the head. So how does that all work? Here I have a standalone model showing you basically what's going on inside the head. On either side of the interior is mounted a gear rack then we have a carriage that moves up and down along those racks using these gears. It is attached to either side of the top of the head using some of these strings, Lego strings with studs on either side. And that way as you open and close the model, the carriage moves up and down. Basically all the outer details are built onto the top of this carriage. For the inner platform containing the castle, we have this piece here, which also has some racks on either side, and they interface with the inside of all those gears connected to the carriage. And in this way, we have a basic telescoping platform system. As the carriage moves up and down, the inner platform moves up and down twice the distance. And in that way, the castle can be twice as high as all of the surrounding details. So that's about all there is to it. I really hope you enjoyed Crystal's latest model. I really hope she builds some more cool stuff I can show you guys as well. Thanks so much for watching the video. Keep on building, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks.